Sawagin have turned this tree into a site for sacrifices. The Sawagin keep close tabs on the comings and goings of the Korthos village citizens from this area. The rumbling falls converge into a small body of water.
This entrance leads down into an ancient Kenneth aqueduct. Resilient spider webs block your path. They don't look capable of withstanding blows from the weapon. The cells in this room hold a number of desperate Korthos villages.
You have reached the Devourer's Sanctum. From ahead, you hear a woman speak and cry. The last imprisoned villager grasps your outstretched hand, rising and running for freedom. The Devourer will not feast on the innocent tonight. Not on your watch. Cult leader will spill innocent blood no more. This entrance leads down into an ancient Kenneth aqueduct.
the rumbling falls converge into a small body of water. Sawagin keep close tabs on the comings and goings of the Korthos village citizens from this overlook. Ugh! 
A mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned Kenneth manufactory. Enter one of the laboratories where decades ago, House Caneth first imbued mystic. The doorway ahead has been boarded up. Oddly, the north looks very recent. As you twist the second valve closed, the hissing stops. A magical barrier humming with compressed energy as the nuclear blocks your car. You hope you can find a way to disable it somewhere. On the other side of this locked gate, you see a familiar sight. Cane power crystals, like the one you saw in Corpos. But what are these ones powered? Icy jets of some alchemical compound coat these humming canid power crystals in a hard protected layer. You also notice several valves of various sizes spread around the room. Upon turning the valve, you hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss as the gas struggles to flow around your obstruction.
without the alchemical jets coating the Kanith power crystals, you can now easily as the last crystal shatters, the hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. Who in the flame are you? Oh no, the Sawagan found me! Suddenly the air shimmers with devourer magic. The Sahagin have followed you in and are attacking. They wouldn't have sent so few after me. Stay alert! Watch for more attacks! Swahagin scum! Keep coming! I won't die that easily! Once the Swahagan get your scent, they won't stop until you're dead. This shield is weak. We might actually get through this. Just hold for a little longer. The Swahagan magic is gone. We beat them off. This time. Hayden looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. Go now. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam at the base of Misery's Peak when you're ready. With Hayden finally persuaded to help, the people of Korthos might finally win their struggle. A mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned Kenneth manufactory. Sawagin have turned this tree into a site for sacrifices to the
the Sawagin keep close tabs on the comings and goings of the Corpus village citizens from this over. Devara cultists keep a watchful eye over the seas from this strategic lookout. Your finding Hayton transformed the village. It seems as if all of Corthos were holding out for news of your next great victory with bated breath. 